so I'm going to show you like an office to nighttime look. So you've got to go to the office straight to the party with no time. So it's a really super quick look. So I've prepped the skin, I've used the primer, I've used the foundation, I've used the Naked Skin Foundation again because we, you know, we can work on it and build it up for the night time. I'm going to use a primer over the lid because I want the eyeshadow to stay on all day, all night and give me a base for the evening. Apply that onto the lid. You can use your fingers, you can use a brush. I'm going to use the original Naked palette and I'm going to use Naked, which is a beautiful taupey shade over the lid. I'm going to take Virgin and apply that to the inner corner of the eye, just to open up the eyes. And just blend that. You don't want any hard lines. I'm going to take Hustle from the same palette and apply this just along the lash line. I'm going to give some definition with a gorgeous chocolate brown. You don't want any gap between the lash line and the skin here, so really f sort of feed it into the lashes. I'm just going to smudge it because I don't want any hard lines here. A tiny bit on the outer corner, underneath the eye. And again, I'm blending that with a clean brush just to get rid of any hard edges. I want a little bit of highlight under the brow bone. And this is just in where the arch is. I'm just putting a dot there and I'm gonna blend that to nothing. Just so you get a wash of shimmer. Just using a little bit of the shade Naked just to lift the eye by applying it into the socket and blending it out. Again, it's an office look, you don't want to look too made up, you just want to enhance what you've naturally got. I'm going to curl the lashes. I'm going to use Subversion, as a, it's like a base coat for the lashes and it will like build up the lashes, it conditions them, it makes them really soft and what's amazing is it, it just, it works so well with the mascara to really kind of give you that false eyelash look without the bother. So you can see it's white, so the, the main thing is when you actually put the mascara in is that you really work it in over the white. So with this mascara, you literally will apply it from root to tip. You don't need to wiggle because of the way the wand is formatted. Because at this point, I've decided that I'm going to use a powder blush. I'd want to put powder on the skin so the blusher doesn't grab to any oil in the skin. I'm going to use Naked Flushed in Strip as a blush. It's almost like a figure of eight, half a figure of eight. I'm going to use a nude lip liner, just because when you kind of get ready to go out for work in the morning, you want to put your lipstick on and think it's going to last. So I'm using a long lasting lip pencil all over the lip so you never get left with just the colour around the edge. As it wears away, you'll always have colour and there's nothing worse than having just a lip line around the edge, so I fill in the entire lip with this. I'm going to use Naked 2 lipstick. You can use this straight from the bullet if you want, or if you want a really soft look, I often just apply with my finger and press it in. These lipsticks have got great pigment, so often if you just want a sheer finish, just press it in with your finger. And if you want a more full-on colour, use it straight from the bullet. When you've finished, if you've got two more seconds, do the brows, because it really does make a difference for that finished look. So just brush them up. If they need any filling in, I like brow powder because it just gives a softer 
finish, your brow pencil can be quite hard. So I'm just using the brow palette. And there you have your daytime office look. So I'm going to take this now from a day to you've got five minutes to get ready to go to a party. So your office look is all done. If you've got any lipstick on at the end of the day, just remove it. With your foundation, because this is a buildable foundation, again, just you can build up where you need it. So if you need any more in any particular place that's worn off in the day, apply that now. You might need a little bit under the eyes. I put foundation over the lip to kill any natural colour in the lip because often you, put, you try colour on your hand, then you put it on your lip and it's nothing like it. So if you kill all the unnatural pink in your lips, you'll always get a truer colour from the bullet. So it's a tip I always use, whatever colour I'm doing. So I'm going to use Space Cowboy, which is a really gorgeous glittery colour. And because I want it to look really molten, I'm going to put a bit of fixing spray so easy, just apply it with your finger, just to the lid. But the fixing spray will give it that real kind of wet, molten look. I'm going to apply a little bit to the corner. So what I always do is fill in the entire lip with a lip pencil. So that if you're out eating, drinking, and your lipstick starts to wear off, you're always going to have something underneath it because there's nothing worse than a bright or a dark lip just around the edge of the lips. So once you've put your lip liner all over the lip, you kind of it doesn't have to be too perfect as long as you've got the edge. I don't like a hard line, so I'm softening it slightly. You can do this with your finger. or with a brush, and then I'm using F-Bomb, which is an amazing red. Don't forget when you're applying a lip, any colour, but particularly with a dark or a bright colour, to get right in the corners. You've put your lipstick, and now you just blot to take off the excess oil out of the lipstick, and then you'll just reapply the lipstick over the top. So once you've finished the lips, you can start to see the balance of where you need cheek colour, what, what else your face needs. And I can see that I quite like a little bit more on the eye. So I'm going back to the molten kind of wet look feel and I'm going to use Diamond Dog. Again, I'm going to mix this with some of the fixer. I'm going to apply this along the lash line. It's a darker colour, it's a richer and it works really well with the other shade. I'm now going to clean up under the eye with a bit of concealer. Because you're out in candlelight, dark lighting, you can be a bit more, you know, heavy going with your bronzer. And I'm going to take the highlighting shade and just add the long top of the cheekbone. When I finish the look, I'm going to use a makeup setting spray because it will make it last for 16 hours. So you know that you can kind of go out till dawn and you're going to look fantastic. 